Hello everybody. Yes, welcome to a little driving excursion. Um, it's that time of the year where I've hired a car for a week. And this time um, I'm kind of filling some gaps. Now in some of the vlogs I've been watching more recently, this is the 27th of July 2018, I'm in the middle of reviewing all the vlogs that I've done over the past 10 years for part of the 50th vlog special. And I've been reviewing some of the stuff and I'm going, there's a lot of stuff that I haven't completed. I haven't actually finished. Um, one of them was a trip down to the Solway coast. But there's a couple of places I did go to. New Abbey Corn Mill, which I did get footage for, and Sweetheart Abbey, which I never got a chance to go round. So this part of that vlog was never finished. So since I'm going down for a re -nap -a weekend at Caerlavrock Castle, I thought I'd spend a couple of hours before everybody arrives to start setting up camp to go round and complete this vlog 18 months later. So welcome to a very interesting, very special vlog. I'm here at New Abbey and behind me is the New Abbey Corn Mill, one of the other historic Scotland locations around this area. It's the other side of the river Nith, Nith, I'll get it right eventually, the other side of the river Nith um, from Caer Lavrock and um, I'm just going around the museum now. But this is the water wheel, it's not working today, but this is the water wheel that would have um, started the process of milling oats, which would make oatmeal coarse and fine. Of course, obviously used for porridge and fine use for oat cakes and things like that. So I'm sitting up here at the top floor of the mill, um, and it's quite a small place, and it's it's not working today. It doesn't work in the in the winter. Apparently, it only works between April and September. And what they do is basically they have a kiln downstairs where they bring the grain in, they dry it through a kiln um, for a few days, and then they start processing it through. Um, the top here uh, through hoppers into the stones and one stone takes the husk away, one stone mills it down and that's a process that happens over a couple of days. And this mill was um, active from the 1200s. Um, the present building was built in the 18th century um, and it was then upgraded a little bit more as well to help with animal feed in the 19th century but mostly it's been made for milling of oats. Um, and barley and wheat. I think it, it milled quite a few things, but it was a, you know, a local mill. It was a small mill, and one of many across the country. There's not many left now. Um, the only other mill that I believe in historic Scotland's care is up in um, Orkney. Um, I'm not going up there today. <laughs> um, but yes, this mill is um, not working at the moment. It will be working in April, April to September. I might come back. As you will see when I do some close-up pictures in a minute, the mill itself is dry, there is no water in, there's not, not wa enough water in the pond to allow it to, you know, be a successful mill. It's a shame there's nothing here, but it just shows you how dry season it's been when the mill pond is virtually empty. They can't pump the water up. So this is virtually empty. But there's a lathe there that you'd use to open it, and then the channel goes down to the mill down there. Right, enough time travelling between now and 18 months ago. It's time to actually do a proper tour of somewhere on the same day. Off to Sweetheart. Here we are. The place I didn't get to last time. Sweetheart Abbey. Um, so, yeah, let's have a look, shall we? See what we can find. Now, there is renovation work going on at the moment in the Abbey, so there's not much to, you know, um, see. It's maybe not quite true, but, you know, there's, there's a bit of renovation work going on to stabilise the building. And I did try and come down here in February, but they closed off that point because they were putting the scaffolding up and everything, the looks of it. So this is a bit different, but 
I'm on the outside walls of the Abbey at the moment, so we'll have a look and go through and then we'll see if we can get inside and have a look and enjoy this religious monument. In the year 1268, Lord John Bailey of Barnard Castle in County Durham passed away. His grieving widow, Lady Derva Gillard of Galloway, had his heart embalmed and put into an ivory casket. She placed it on a dining table to which she invited the poor and needy. Derva Gillard undertook many charitable acts, including establishing in 1273 the Cistercian Abbey of Sweetheart, where we are now, not far from her home at Bootle Castle. When she died in 1289, her body and her husband's heart were buried here. There we are, stonework. <laughs> you had to be somewhere. Now here's the tomb where John Balliol is, Lord John Balliol was buried, and the effigy is of uh, Lady De Volgilla. De Volgilla. So that's interesting. Within seven years, and with all the builders still working on the Abbey Church, the Wars of Independence erupted, and after 50 years of bloodshed, the monastery was in a sad state. The new Lord of Galloway, Archibald Douglas, the Grim, had the Abbey repaired, but thereafter little is heard of Sweetheart until its demise following the Protestant Reformation of 1560. this little walkway so you can actually go under and into where the tomb is of Lady Dervagilla of Galloway now I'm not a religious man but you can understand why this place would have been seen as holy and sacred as an abbey. Of course in the Reformation this place was basically became ruinous. You can see where the roof beams would have been originally, top of the tower. But here is the tomb. And they were thinking of closing this abbey off until they'd done all the work, but they decided to open it with a little further there there. So you can still get to see the tomb because this lady built this abbey for her husband and it'd be a spectacular view normally with the scaffolding out the way going all the way down to the other side of the church of the abbey itself glorious building really would have been stunning in its day There we are. We have completed what I started in February 2017. When this video comes out, nobody knows. But it will be a vlog that will be a completionist one and it means that I've got footage has been sitting there for 18 months completed finally. Anyway, that's it for now. Thank you very much for watching as always. If you like what you see, don't forget to like this video and share it. Don't forget to comment below what your thoughts are of New Abbey and Sweet High Abbey. Have you been there? Would you like to go? Um, don't forget there's Kelovrook Castle, the other side of the River Niff as well. So you can make a day trip of three different locations within very quick succession of each other. I mean, Sweet High Abbey is the other, other end of New Abbey Village, so it really is close. But yes, um, as I say, if you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe and comment below. Hit that notifications bell if you do subscribe so you know when a video comes out. But there should be a video at least once a week, every Sunday at 4pm GMT. There might be more than that. But I'll see you next time. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you later.